Hey everybody, welcome to another concert from my living room. Um, this is kind of a, a Father's Day special um, in, in memory of my dad who sadly um, died from a brain tumour when I was a teenager. Um, but I, I, you may be seen in all of these concerts, there's this picture with a blue frame behind me. And that, my dad was an artist and this was one of his pictures and it goes with me wherever I live, um, which in the last few years has been quite a lot of places. Um, but yeah, it's, it's always there and it's always part of me and he was a very special person. So I've chosen a bunch of music that, um, a couple of the pieces are chosen by other people, but the rest of the works um, are music that either he loved um, or they're pieces that I know he would have loved. And um, so yeah, that's, that's my little personal thing. And I know that um, Father's Day is obviously wonderful. Um, Thing, but also a very difficult thing for a lot of people and especially I'm sure this year more than any other year and um, so yeah um happy Father's Day to all the dads and um and to all the other dads who are wherever they are I'm starting off with some bar so I one of the things that my dad absolutely loved me playing when I was I guess I learned it when I was 13 or 14 was Bach's monumental chaconne and I did toy with playing that today, but I just thought it was maybe a bit long for a sunny afternoon um, and would have left me with not very much space to play anything else. So I thought rather than that, I'll play you a couple of movements um, from that partita, from the D minor partita. So I'm going to start off with the Alamanda, which is the first movement. Um, all of the movements on um, from the partitas are dance movements, so it's a, it's a slow, stately dance. And then I'm going to play the jig, which is the fourth movement. Thank you. 
was Bach and his Anamonda and Jig from his, his D minor partita. Um, yeah. About well, a few months ago, in the autumn, um, I started doing a Kickstarter crowdfunding um, to try and pay for a forthcoming album of Caprices. Um, and if you've been listening over the last few weeks, you'll have heard some of those pieces, some of the variation, Paganini variations that I've played um, particularly, and in fact some actual Paganini as well. And one of the rewards on the Kickstarter um, was the opportunity to have one of those variation tracks on the CD dedicated to whoever you chose. Um, and there were some really, really moving and touching dedications that came through. Um, and it was, you know, it, it was such an incredible thing, actually, to feel that in any case, when you, when you crowdfunded something, you find that you're, there's, there's a different feeling when you're recording because you know how many people have actually cared enough about the fact that you want to record something. Um, and they trust in you to do it, but also they've, they've invested in it. Um, and it means so much when you record that you know that those people actually want you to be there doing it. It's not a vanity project in that way um, that you sometimes worry that recording might be. And um, in this case, even more so, I was supposed to record in, in May, at the beginning of May. Um, it's been pushed back to whenever we, we're able to get into a venue um, and my team are able to find somewhere that they can stay um, with social distancing. But um, today I'm going to play, to play for you one of those variations, um, which is a really, really special dedication um, from a good friend of mine. Um, so the piece is Alexandra Harwood's Never Forget. So this is a variation on Paganini's 24th Caprice, which she wrote around the time of Holocaust Memorial Day. And she wrote it in memory of victims of the Holocaust. And one of my good friends heard, the, heard that variation and said, please, could this be the, the track that, that my dedication happens with? Um, and the, the person in question um, who supported it um, lost a darling eight-year-old child from their family last year in a very unexpected and tragic way. Um, and so as it's about a year's anniversary right now, um, asked if I might include it in today's concert, and I'm, I'm so happy to do so. Although it's a variation, actually, it works absolutely wonderfully um, as a standalone piece of music. Um, and I, I hope you'll, you'll agree with that. Um, it's utterly beautiful. Um, you'll, you'll hear the tinges of, of sadness running through it. Um, so yeah, this is, this is Alexandra Harwood's Never Forget.
Alexandra Harwood's Never Forget. I'm moving on to some more new music. Um, not quite as new, but still very new. Um, and actually, just before I said, I, every, every concert I've been really, really disappointed that by the time I've actually stopped playing and gone and looked at all the comments that people have left um, on the video, um, on the YouTube stream, I've, um, everybody's gone, so I haven't been able to say hi and thank you. And so I've got my laptop today and it's out of sight while I play but it's it's great so um hello everybody Carol and Caroline and uh, Matthias hello and Richard thank you so much for for listening in it's it's so nice to to see your messages popping up uh, anyway back on to the next bits of music um I'm going to play Caroline Shaw and her In Menace to Us which I heard um, very recently for the first time and was totally blown away by the music um, it's originally a cello work. There's an incredible video as well um, of her performing it on the viola um, on YouTube, which is just stunning. Um, and I just, you get these moments where you hear something and you just, you have to play it. And so I sent her an email expecting probably not to get a reply. Um, and if I did, expecting it to be a very long time hence. Um, and she wrote back almost, you know, almost immediately saying, um, Here's the music, um, giving me some performance directions, which is amazing, um, and saying she was very happy for me to play it. So I've, I've learnt it quite quickly because it's so good and I really wanted to play it to you. Um, I also have to sing, which I really hope I'm not going to mess up. Um, her, her writing about it, um, In Manus Tours is based on a Thomas Tallis motet. While there are only a few slices of the piece that reflect exact harmonic changes in Talis's setting, the motion, or lack of, is intended to capture the sensation of a single moment of hearing the motet in the particular and remarkable space of Christchurch in New Haven, Connecticut. I really wish I was um, in an amazing um, cathedral kind of setting with, with that sort of incredible resonant acoustic because I, I just, I, well, I can't wait to play it somewhere like that because I know how incredible it will sound in that sort of space. But I think even in this very dry, very small room, it's the most extraordinary, extraordinary work. And um, yeah, and, and included today because my dad was a massive fan of, of ancient music. And, and so we grew up my first piano lessons went on a piano. He bought a kit spinet, which is the precursor to the harpsichord, um, which has tiny, tiny keyboards, and the keys are back to front as well. So it was black keys are white and white keys are black. Um, no pedals, obviously, and um, it, it it was it was how I and I'm sh I I wouldn't be surprised if that has something to do with the fact that I always got really nervous playing an actual piano, um, which is why I played violin instead, and. So that's, that's partly why I chose it, but partly it's just because it's exquisite music. And yeah, I hope you enjoy this. This is Caroline Shaw and her In Manners to Us.
Caroline Shaw and her In Manus to Us, which I just think is extraordinary, incredible, mind-blowing music, and I can't wait to play it somewhere. Yeah, there's been lots of lots of tweets and social media stuff going on about St Magnus Festival because it should happen right now, um, and unfortunately because of obviously COVID, um, they can't um, do the festival this year. And so I've been seeing all these pictures of past festivals and the St Magnus Cathedral where so many incredible experiences of mine have been musical experiences. Um, of performances in that incredible acoustic and I just I desperately now want to go and play it right there um, but that will have to wait um, so that was that was um, Caroline Shaw I'm trying to remember what, what's next oh yes Debussy Girl with Flaxen Hair um, which I, I called Girl with the Flaxen Horses yesterday by accident because of um, my French um, auto, um, autocorrect on my phone um, but definitely flax and hair. So when I was little, I had this gorgeous arrangement of this piece for violin and piano that I used to play with my piano teacher. And my dad absolutely loved it. And I thought, because I've been doing this a bit over lockdown, um, when I've been feeling like I need some, some music that I know so well and I love listening to, but that isn't really for the violin, um, I thought I'd see if I could do an arrangement that works. And I think it does. Um, so this is an arrangement I made day before yesterday of Debussy's La Fille aux Chevaux de Lain.
CBC and his girl with the flax and hair, which is kind of also really for my mum, hello, because um, uh, she liked it too, and um, I thought she'd enjoy it. And this is, I moved in the autumn and she's not actually been to my new place yet. And um, so this is, this is the closest she gets to seeing my flat. Um, so thank you. Anyway, the last piece today, before I play the last piece, I should just say, as always, um, I, these concerts are, are free um, for you to listen to. If anybody is able, um, people have been so generous over the last few months um, and it's thanks to you all, but I am still, um, in a flat um, because obviously with no concerts there are no fees and with no fees there's nothing and I'm living off air but thank you so much to everybody who's been donating to these, these concerts and if you're able um, I'd be so grateful um, just like the, what you pay for a concert ticket or a cup of coffee or whatever um, there's a donate button PayPal link at the bottom of the information about the concert so on to the final piece which is um actually related to that. Um, so I had a, a message from um, somebody who supports these concerts a few days ago saying how much he loved this piece of music, this final piece of music, and um, could he sponsor me to um, perform it in, in one of the concerts, do an arrangement of it. Um, so I've, I've included it today. Um, it's The Shock and Farewell by um, Jay Unger, um, and it's it's just, it's really just beautiful, beautiful folk music. And um, yeah, so that's the last piece in the concert.
I hope you enjoyed that and thank you so much for joining me for today's concert and for all the, all the gorgeous messages um thank you and I'm not going to be back on Wednesday because it's I, I'm kind of chasing my tail now I've got to the point that I'm having to play you almost exclusively music that I've never played before and I'm quite often having to arrange as well um so I won't be doing one on Wednesday but I will be back on Sunday for another mixed program like this um, so I hope you have a fantastic week and also as of tomorrow I will be doing a series of um, videos of all of the Bach Sonatas and Partitas, one video every day coming out on my YouTube. So watch out for that, so if you subscribe you'll hear about all of those. Um, so please subscribe and donate if you can and thank you and have a wonderful rest of a Sunday. Bye!